Everything the Biden administration has done so far is just a bunch of smoke and mirrors. They say a bunch of words, but don't really actually say anything. Let's take a look at some examples. Number one, they try to take credit for millions of jobs being created under Joe Biden's watch. But what they don't tell you is that that was just all the jobs that were lost during the COVID lockdowns coming back. Because magically, after Joe Biden took office, then all the Democrat governors eased up restrictions and allowed people to go back to work for once. And they stopped paying people free money to stay home and hide inside their houses. So Joe Biden didn't actually create any jobs. It was just a collusion with the Democrat governors to allow people to go back to work after Joe Biden took office. They failed at trying to cancel $10,000 worth of student loan debt. They tried to blame Republicans for that. But what they're not telling you is that they're trying to cancel loans for people who are privileged already. If you have student loan debt, you're privileged because you went to college. Whether you finished or not is irrelevant. But you went, so you're privileged. And if you did graduate, then we could assume that you're making decent money. Maybe not in Joe Biden's economy, but at one point you were. But they want people who haven't gone to college, that don't have any student loan debt, to pay for the people that did go to college who are privileged and are better off. Let's talk about the people who can't afford to put gas in their car since Joe Biden took office and have racked up $10,000 on credit card bills to pay for gas so they could get to work. How about some relief for those people? They're not about helping anybody. It's all about smoke and mirrors to make you think that they're doing something. Well, let's go back to the pardons for marijuana possession. Joe Biden did a big pardon. Pardon everybody who was in federal prison for simple marijuana possession charges. Problem with that is there is nobody in federal prison for simple marijuana charges. So his pardon didn't pardon anybody. Because that's the thing about Democrats and about leftists is that they don't realize that there's actually nobody in federal prison for that. There may be some people sitting in county jail or doing a one-year prison sentence in state prison for marijuana possession. But that's because their charges started off at something a lot greater than that. And they pleaded down to a lesser charge of just simple marijuana possession to avoid going to prison for a longer time, which means they also probably ratted out some bigger fish. That's a whole nother thing we get into. Not enough time for that today. Whenever their policies don't work out, then they try to blame somebody else. Joe Biden on day one, reduced America's production of energy, which means that there's not as much energy going into the market. There's not as much going into the market. It means that there's a higher demand, not enough supply, which raises prices. It's one of the reasons why we saw gas prices go so high as soon as Joe Biden took office. And a year later, he blames Vladimir Putin invading Ukraine. But the prices were already going up for a whole year before Vladimir Putin invaded Ukraine. But you people still believe this guy. You still believe this pod man standing up there and spewing a script that was written for him that he could barely read. And you still believe it. You still vote for him. And you still vote for people like him. Democrats rely on low information voters. That's why they dominate the big cities and they go into those housing apartments, senior centers, and they, they collect all the votes from people who probably wouldn't vote in the first place. And they go in there and they help them fill out their ballots, make sure that they vote for the Democrat. That's why I love mail-in voting. It's easy to manipulate. Just remember everything that Democrats do is smoke and mirrors. It's designed to play on your emotions and mess with your mind. Remember, the United States is not a democracy. It's a constitutional republic. Keep in mind sharp. Don't listen to the media. This is Flip the Script Podcast out.